TV Siege Jeff again. Uh, lots of contests now, so I thought I'd just uh, shoot off one more. This one was one that was turned on to by uh, Rachel, and this is regarding uh, a favorite movie of mine, Fiz uh, Fiz uh, American Graffiti. I wanted to say Physical Graffiti, <laughs> but anyway, American Graffiti. Uh, so it was the first uh, rather mainstream uh, movie by uh, George Lucas of Star Wars fame. So, um, so basically it was an homage to, uh, like he was really into like the, um, kind of the, uh, street rotting culture of the, uh, 60s of his childhood. So remember this was done in 72, so he's going 10 years back, not, not very far, to, uh, to when he was like a teenager, and it's kind of reminiscing, but it's only 10, 10 years really, so this would be like doing a movie about the aughts right now. It's kind of funny when you think about it. But uh, yeah, a lot, tremendous amount of change if you think about it, 62 to 72, like, huge. But um, so it feels like it's that, you know, it feels like you're making a movie about the 90s now, which everyone's doing, but who makes a movie about the aughts, you know? Okay. But anyway, um, so this is Miranda Holter's contest. And uh, yes, so uh, what she's asked us to do is uh, we have. Um, five questions the first of which is it, well it's based on um, the soundtrack of american graffiti okay so the first question was um to show an artist that does show um that shows up on the soundtrack so yeah this is an interesting one so, uh, found this in a bargain bin of all places it's uh pretty hard to find apparently because i think this, this is a private press in japan i found this in a bargain bin in japan in a outdoor uh, deal. They were doing like $2 records or something. Um, so they do this gigantic uh, pick, you know, pick fest. So this is Buddy Holly and the Picks, which also has the crickets. Uh, so what the Picks were, were the um, the backing band for uh, Buddy, Holly, Buddy Holly's uh, later uh, releases. Uh, so what they've done is they, this is kind of a weird one. So this is a could be kind of a bootleg of sorts because like I don't think they exactly had permission to do this uh, but what they did is they went back and they added the uh, the backing the picks these guys they added the uh, the backing vocals uh, to I believe it was his first album which did not have the uh, those vocals so it comes with this whole booklet <laughs> describing why the picks basically made Buddy Holly <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's got inter it's a fun read, but it's, it's definitely skewed. But uh, yeah, um, I think they also released a full length book or something or something is going on about that. I think in that that little booklet, it's pretty thick. <laughs> it's a quite a, quite the read. Um, so Buddy Holly in the Picks, yeah, the original chirping sound. So yeah, so it's it's uh, so basically they fill out the. Um, the hit. So it's like, well, the lesser known ones. Uh, Love Me, Don't Come a Knocking, Midnight Shift, Blue Days, Black Nights, Girl in My Mind, Tingling, Rock Around with Ali V, Modern Don Juan, uh, You Are My One Desire, and it also has a bonus track of sorts, uh, Buddy Holly, Not Fade Away, which they they wrote themselves, I guess, to kind of homage uh, Buddy Holly. So it's an interesting listen. So it's basically a, just a remix of that album. Um, okay, so the second question here was a record from 1962 or 72, the, the year that um, American Graffiti came out. So this one wasn't too hard. Probably not exactly what you're looking for, but uh, yeah, well, probably my uh, favorite album from 62, uh, Black Orpheus, or Impressions of Black Orpheus, um, based on not a movie soundtrack per se but it's kind of based on that movie which i've never watched i gotta have to watch it uh so it's by the vince garaldi am i saying that right garaldi yeah garaldi i think uh garaldi uh trio um so he's the guy he's kind of famous for the uh the snoopy soundtracks you know the christmas album everyone has but one of the best christmas uh, soundtracks ever Maybe number two. I, I kind of like the Phil Spector one it's a smidge more. I do need to find that Phil Spector, man. If anyone finds a good good copy on the cheap, yeah. Uh, but yeah, 
So this, uh, and this is on, I believe, uh, yeah, Fantasy, and it ha originally came out on Translucent Red Vinyl, so it is see-through. So, the label's red, too. It's kind of cool. So highly recommend that one um, if you're into jazz at all. That's, that's a pretty easy jazz uh, listen. He's, he's a jazz uh, pianist, of course. Yeah, you, you know the Snoopy stuff, so if you like that, you'll like this. Um, so definitely worth uh, picking up. Um, I don't, it's not super easy to find, but it's not super duper rare either. So yeah, look for that. It's a good one. Um, so let's see. Third question was where I was in 62. Yeah, not that old. So uh, maybe I was floating around the cosmos or something. Yeah, wh whatever you do. Uh, number four was a favorite track from the soundtrack. Um, yeah, for the last couple of questions, I don't have anything to hold up. So let's imagine I'm holding something up. Uh, so favorite sound um, track from the soundtrack would be definitely uh, Del Shannon's um, Runaway. That's a classic right there. And if I was to add something to the soundtrack, um, unfortunately, I do not have this. I know who does have it, but I do not have it. Um, so I would pick uh, Telstar by the Tornadoes, so Surf Rock. Um, I know Isaac's got to have that one. I think he showed it recently on this, uh, you know, Blind Island channel. So, yeah, so I think that would be pretty much in line with uh, what was going on in the, the movie as well. So that would kind of blend in there. So, yeah, so a little instrumental surf. Uh, Telstar by the Tornadoes. So, yeah, uh, so everyone check out Miranda's uh, channel. And, yeah, I'd probably, I've done too many videos this week, so I might, I might do one more contest. There's too many contests, but um, it's kind of fun. Uh, so everyone have, uh, have a great week, and, yeah, so, yep, and Miranda, fun contest. Uh, so, yeah, you'll probably see me a little more in your, your videos. So, t yeah, take care. Have a good one, and stay safe, everyone.